Hey, it's Cobra here at MaddenGuides.com. And for this Madden 22 Defensive Tips video breakdown, I want to take a look at an alternate hot route adjustment for manual pass rush. And I want to show you another defensive hot route that you can use rather than the flat hot route that I normally show to get pressure on a quarterback manually. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in this video breakdown. Before I do that, I just want to wish you guys a happy new year. Be safe out there. You know, I, that's the main thing. We got some lot of snow coming our way. So just, you know, be careful out there. And the second thing I just want to get briefly mentioned, I know John Madden just passed away. I was very, very saddened when I heard it. Um, I'm a huge fan of John Madden. I can remember back in, uh, back in 1997, or sorry, well, back in 1997, when uh, I got the PC version of the game for Madden. And on that game, there was two discs. And the second disc that you got had all the uh basically the telestrations that he was breaking down of like the four three defense the three four the i form split back all that and he was doing all these breakdowns with the hot with the uh, telestrator i thought man that's pretty cool that's something i want to do and uh, so that's kind of how i got into this you know back then when i did the maddenguides.com that's where i kind of got the idea was from that was from that particular cd that i saw and it really made me want to go ahead and do this. And that's how I come. I launched the MaddenGuys.com site. One of the reasons, and there's another, obviously the BMFL league that I was in was another big reason. But that's where I got the idea from the telestrations was from him breaking down at all those uh, different formations on that CD. Also, one other thing I just want to mention briefly about John Madden. Uh, back in 1977, when I was seven years old, and that's how old I am. I'm, you know, damn near 51 now. And... Uh, one of the things that uh, I got for uh, under the Christmas tree at the time as a kid is I got an electric football game that had the Vikings versus the Raiders. And I knew who John Madden was at that point because I knew he was the coach of that particular team. And uh, it was just kind of a cool present I got. And I just remember having the Raiders and the Vikings on the electric football field. And I thought, man, that's pretty cool. And it was a Super Bowl. But uh, yeah, just a lot of fond memories of John Madden, you know, with him and Pat Summerall and all that stuff. So, um, that's really all I want to say about that. I, you know, it's just uh, definitely a sad day uh, for me personally. So at any rate, let's go ahead and get into this breakdown. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this and let's get going with it. I know that's what you guys came here for as far as with these breakdowns, as far as watching this video. All right. So the defense that I'm going to use here is the 3-4 uh, odd formation. This is from the 3-4 playbook. If you're following along, just in case you want to hop into the 3-4 playbook. And what I'm going to show here is a defense, uh, the 3-4 odd Tampa 2. Now, just keep in mind, you do not have to use the 3-4 odd Tampa 2. This pretty much works with pretty much a lot of different defenses as long as you're able to do the hot route I'm about to show and how to do it. So let's go ahead and go into the formation. I'm going to run this against on the offensive side of the ball. We're going to use the Eagles playbook. Uh, the name of the play is going to be the gun trips tight in offset. I think we're using the verticals play. Let me go ahead and find out here. There it is. So we'll use that and there's the uh, defense that we're going to use all right so normally what i would tell you guys is to go ahead and for example pinch the defensive line bring parsons to the inside here where he lines up near the uh, the left tackle and hot route him onto a hard flat now i realize a lot of you guys with coaching adjustments you like to put your flat coverages in like say 25 30 yards where you adjust and you have them drop them back farther and i get that because on another video that breakdown i really wanted to do was talk about using those hot routes uh, for coaching adjustments to create quarters defense even from a um, even from a uh, cover two type blitz and i want to talk about that later in another video breakdown that i'm going to do but at any rate that's something you guys might want to do and i get that because i like to do it so if that's the case sometimes when you do that you may find that the flat defender that you hot routed will go out here and you'll kind of go back a little bit into this area here and then you're going to have to kind of kind of rush them around that and then come back after the quarterback especially uh, if they're in third and long that happens a lot of times like third and 15 that'll happen so this is another adjustment you can make that's going to go ahead and allow you to still get the pass rush the manual pass rush and that is simply to go ahead and put the defender in this case parsons in man coverage and what I prefer to do is to put it on the furthest receiver on his side to the outside. In this case, it's going to be that receiver lined up there as I'm highlighting him for you. So that way, it takes care of not having to use the uh, the flat route because maybe you went ahead and used the coaching adjustments and you changed it to, like I said, 25, 30 yards. This will work pretty much the same way. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and snap the ball. 
and see if I can get to work. Now, I'm not quite as consistent with this as I am with the flat, but it does work. So let's go ahead and run here. And right there, I got around him. I kind of kind of messed up a little bit there. Let me do that again. Same thing here. I'm usually a little more consistent than that. That's uh, That was really bad the way I just did that. But at uh, any rate, let's go ahead and do the same thing here. And there he is right there. Let's go ahead and see if we can get that to work this time. And there we go. And right there, you can come after the quarterback and get pressure. So that's another way of doing it if you want. If you want to go ahead and perhaps put him in a... Uh, go ahead and put him in a man coverage on the receiver to the farthest to the outside. That seems to work best. I mean, you can try some other guys if you want. But that's the one that I prefer to get to get this to work, to get this animation that I'm showing right there. So that's another way of doing it. If you don't want to use the um, if you don't want to use the flat hot route, then you can go ahead and use the man coverage hot route. And then a lot of times you're going to get this right here when I'm showing right here off the edge. So this is just a kind of a quick video. Uh, I'm not going to get too much more longer into this one. But right there, you can see you get pressure on a quarterback by doing that. So, again, if you want to do an alternate way to get pressure on a quarterback, all you got to do is just put this guy in man coverage on usually on the furthest receiver to the outside. It seems to work the best and it's certainly a way that uh, it's going to allow you to get pressure on a quarterback and not uh, where you don't have to worry about your coaching adjustments is on the flat. So that's just another way of doing it. Again, guys, I appreciate you guys watching the video here. Uh, again, please be safe over the New Year's weekend here. And uh, again, I'll be coming on another video here very shortly. Probably the next couple days, I'll break down another something else for you guys and hope you guys will enjoy it. All right. Thanks again, guys.